All right guys, so I want to shoot a, a moto vlog and uh, kind of talk to you about my problems. <laughs> what problems could I possibly have? I mean, I'm having fun and riding a motorcycle. How much, what kind of problems could you possibly have? Well, so I, if you follow my YouTube channel, you know I rode Utah and I uh, left Utah, went to Southern California rode the dunes, which required a tire change. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know exactly how awesome I am when it comes to changing tires. I can change a tire all day long. That's easy. The hard part is keeping the air inside the tube. success with uh, getting the, the paddle tire on. What happened was I let my little brother ride my DRZ, which I love my little brother, I don't care. It happens, so don't think I'm griping on my little brother for riding my bike too hard. It's what it's for. It's, it's to be, it's a toy. It's not like I have to drive this thing back to Idaho. I mean, I would do it if, uh, if I was given enough time and I had enough money. But, Anyway, um, he had, uh, we were at Oldsmobile Hill, I'll pop the pictures in here, he was riding this bike harder than I probably ever will ride this bike, just because, uh, give me a second here guys, it's a little rocky section. Chicago. Let's take a break. Let me catch my breath I tell you. So he was ripping this thing up and down Old Hill like it was a race bike and um, I was like, man, he's hitting those whoop sections pretty hard. So uh, yeah, he, uh, I think on one of the passes he made on the hill, he came down and hit the tire so hard it actually like spun the tube or the tire on the rim or something like that because I had a patch on there and it peeled the patch off and it went flat. Some water. Some agua. So, got back into Arizona. I had a spare tube. Put the, the Shinko back on it. Took the paddle off. And proceeded to poke a hole in my tube while I was uh, putting it on. So I had to rush to the motor scooter store this morning and pick up a tire or a tube and put it on. So if you guys are keeping count on my Instagram side, if not, I'll tell you right now, that's six tubes in two months that I have ruined on this bike because I'm in incompetent and can't put a, tube, a tire and a tube together. So let's climb this. I think we're gonna take the left side. 
This looks a little bit more easy. the roughest section if I remember right as a kid coming through because once we get up on top it's like this it's nice roads well nice ish as nice as one could hope corner to a rock garden. And, well, I mean, it's, it's kind of rocky. Find the right line, it's nice and smooth. my dilemma with tubes. I, I seem to have a hard time with them. And I can't seem to uh, to get it right, but eventually I am. Now the reason I bring this up is say for instance you're out here. I have no cell service. Make sure I have my phone on me still, or it's, at least it's a pouch. And um, I wouldn't be able to call anybody. So I could either limp the bike out on a flat, which is like the most likely cause of what I'm gonna do, or I'm gonna walk out or hope that somebody passes by that can get help. Because if I had to replace my tube, I'm, uh, I'm not batting very good. I'm batting like, could've swore there was a, uh, thing right here somewhere. One of these uh, passes has a uh, like a sign-in booth. You'll see it's like kind of like right where that was. Maybe that was it and somebody needed it more than the next guy. Let's get this little bike going. It's getting warm again. It's 226 on that temperature gauge. still with me I don't know I'll check the battery here in a second when I get to the next pass the uh, another issue I had was the uh, paddle tire it was just a skosh too tall and hit my uh, little shock splash shield and I thought that thing was always like a fabric like a rubberized fabric apparently mine was rock hard plastic so the paddle tire uh, had its way with it vigorously and just shredded it. So how do you guys like, uh, you guys with dirt bikes and stuff or have bikes, not even dirt bikes, don't matter, dual sports, any bike. I guess it doesn't matter what you have, anything. Um, when you have something like that where the paddle tire breaks something, it's still covering the shock, but it's not the way it was when the engineers built the bike. Would you replace that part when you got back home? Would you quit riding the bike altogether for fear of further damage? Obviously, you can see I'm not worried about further damage. But just kind of, what would you, what's your guys' thoughts? How do you take care of your bikes? Uh, I have a picture of it, so I'll, I'll drop it in here guys so you can see uh, what it is I'm talking about if you have no and I'm sure there's a name for it 
I apologize. I, it looks like a splash guard to me, or a mud flap, <laughs> a forward mud flap. Imagine if you were in a truck and you came from the the other side. It's like 20 something miles back here and you get in here and there's all these rocks in the way. That would suck. You're either gonna turn around, well you're gonna back up until you can find a place to turn around, or you're gonna get out and you're gonna pop a hernia or whatever it is to move one of those boulders out of the way so you can continue on with your, your truck. Unless you got a truck like some people have where they don't care, they're just gonna run it over anyway. Or we could shoot the bike off the side of the mountain like that. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> would not be good. I don't want to go down the mountain to get my bike. That's what I'm saying. Here's a, that would be a good spot. If you had just like a normal vehicle, you're not getting past that. Of course, if you had a normal vehicle and you're on this road, you should know what's going on. I've been on this road many times, so I have a, a faint idea, because it's been so long, as to what I need to do. Wabahama Yuma Peaks Wilderness and Trailhead. No garbage collection beyond this point. So if you pack it in, pack it out, which I always do. Um, let's see. Mike and Donnie, Friday, March 10th of 2017 on a post-it note. I don't have a pen. I don't even have a sticker. I'd put a nice little sticker right there. Well, guys, I have nothing but this video to prove that I was here, so I'm going to leave this rock. I wish I had something to write with. Let me back. I guess I could use the rock to carve into it, but that's the facing property. So... Let's get going. We're up at 6,000 feet if you're curious. And we've gone a total of 43 miles. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the camera off right here. Why don't you tell me to buckle up? It's my life. Click it or tick it, right? Suck it in. There we go. It's like I felt a hook on some, so 